There are over 200,000 border borders in Kampala alone, and they are a preferred mode of transport as they easily maneuver through traffic jam. With the high fuel prices, even border borders are not finding it easy to break even. As a solution, some Ugandans have started transforming the border borders into electric. On Ntinda Chigowa Road is Border Work Workshop, which is championing this shift. These are border borders being converted. Mande Shadraka is the technical sales engineer. We remove the other whole system and then we get our electrical components, including the motor, the controller and then the battery, plus other harnesses and we make it electrical. The main component or heart of the electric motorcycle is a battery. The workshop fabricates batteries from here. They are now making the outer casings of the lithium batteries. What we do here is that we import lithium ion cells and then we construct them into battery banks. So you find that a single battery of ours, a standard battery, has around 416 cells. We make the cells and then we arrange them into parallel cells connections and then we solder them using nickel strips on spot welding and then we pack them, we shrink, we heat shrink them, then we pack them and we make them to be managed by a smart battery management system. So you can use the Bluetooth from your phone to check its level and how it is functioning and how far it can take you. Then we also now uh, manufacture here or we construct here battery packs. This board has a prototype of the electric motorcycle. When they get the ordinary motorcycle, they remove the engines and then put the electric system. The 3000 watt battery is fitted in the space where the fuel engine sits and it is what runs the other components. Our batteries will give you a charger so you can charge from home using your old socket and it takes you three to four hours to make it full. And then a full battery can take, a full battery has around 53 volts so it can take you 100 to 120 kilometers when you have load and 120 to 150 kilometers when you have no load. But how safe is the electric bike when it rains since water is a good conductor of electricity? We make sure that our battery, our batteries are given stronger battery packs that even if it rains we also give it an Anderson input output so that it is only plugged in and the whole metallic parts remain in, then it's only the plastics that are out. In terms of effectiveness, the Boda Boda costs about 4 million and is converted at the cost of 8 million shillings, bringing the grand sum to 12 million apiece. However, a Boda Boda uses at least 4 liters of fuel every day at a cost of 27,000 shillings, with each liter going for 6,750 shillings. For AI, it consumes fuel worth 9 million 700,000 shillings, equivalent to 48 million 600,000 shillings in five years. A lithium battery operates at full capacity for five years, and each day, for two charges, it consumes electricity worth 6,000 shillings, translating into 10 million 800,000 shillings in five years. This means that you save 37 million 800,000 shillings of fuel in five years. They have also made an electric tricycle or tuk-tuk and the shed holds solar panels. The tuk-tuk has a 3 kilowatt hour motor and it can always take you a distance of between 50 kilometers to 80 kilometers depending on the load that you have loaded there. When you load it heavily, it will take you for 50. When you load it with a few loads, then it will take you for 80 kilometers. But as you move as you charge, we cannot say that the solar panels will fill the batteries but what they do is that they give you longer hours of working. In the workshop, there is also a prototype tractor meant to offer agricultural solutions. For this tractor, they get um, a, an old tractor which has the real engine. But then after that, the engine remains as a skeleton. It's where they put the rest of the things like where I'm seated. And then they add a few components on it. The electronic system is under and that is what runs the wheels forward and behind. It has four lithium batteries and once they are fully charged, they can till an acre of land. And the moment the land is a bit soft, it can till about 1.5 acres of land. If it comes to cost, it is really cost effective because we are charging people around 60,000 on an acre because we charge the batteries using solar, so we don't take another cost of paying power or fuel. 
but compared to fuel dependable tractors that are charging between 100 and 120,000 shillings. They have started making car batteries that last for five to eight years and the heavy ones for motorcycles can be used on solar. One battery has a capacity of 4.6 kilowatt hour. Literally that's 4.6 yaka units of power. So one battery can, is capable of making you to iron, having a fridge and all the other lighting systems. If you have many systems like say light city and so on, the battery can take you for around two to three to four days. At the workshop, they also fabricate the old batteries of laptops by converting them into power banks. They are also in the process of converting ordinary cars into electric ones. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.